think it's a, it, it, it's another situation for me. It's a consensual arrangement. Oh, right. You know, there are benefits right. for both parties. Because if you're going to have sugar moms and sugar daddies, you have to talk about the sugar babies. Oh, right. yeah. And so, you know, this this consensual arrangement benefits both. And when it no longer is beneficial, they part and they go on. And, and this is uh, relationships without strings attached. Mm -hmm. Borderlining legal prostitution. Oh, right. no, she didn't. <laughs> on that note, let's bring Adrian in. Hi, Adrian. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, again, my name is Adrian Mulgro, and I, I'm a pray first uh, uh, before I say anything. Uh -oh. <laughs> Every Sunday. So I want to salute my pastor, the Lord Brian. Okay. Yes. You know, it was Red Dress Sunday, so y'all are, are really holding it down for the women. Goodness gracious, and you're beating the men up. But, oh, we are beating um, the men up. <laughs> but, but, but listen, listen, listen. The conversation is interesting, and, and the doctor that just spoke, she, she kind of cleared it up real, real, real simple. At the end of the day, you know, when you look at relationships, um, you know, age is no more a number. I mean, kids mm -hmm. are growing up so fast, mm -hmm. you know, and at the same time, uh, you know, I, I think you made a comment about older women taking care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, number one, I, 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 the brother was talking, he, he was beating men up. Goodness gracious, brother, I, I'm going to pray for you right now. <laughs> you need to come to church on Sunday, man. Yeah, you was beating us up. Oh, he goes to church every Sunday. Because, Three listen, churches. Because, listen, <laughs> Young men, a lot of young men don't have father figures in their lives. So they really don't know uh, what relationships look like. And the doctor cleared it up. She said it's a, it's, a, it's a consensual, sometimes it's a consensual situation. But at the, at the end of the day, you know, uh, young people, you know, they, 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 they do get with, with women and they abuse them. They, they take advantage of them. But at the end of the day, you, you can't put... A number, uh, with, with, you know, when you see a younger guy or a uh, a younger woman mm -hmm. with, with an older man, yes. so you know, so it, it goes both ways. It's not just about a younger man with an older woman. It's also younger women with older men. Yes. Right. But the bottom line is, you know, um, I, I just think that you can't put numbers on, you know, relationships, and you know, and you talk about sugar mamas and sugar daddies. I mean, that that that's heavy, but. You know, but just keep in mind that when we, we, we talk about all these things, that young people, uh, they don't have role models. So, you know, sometimes, yes, they, they do get with, with in relationships and they look for that mother figure or that father figure, but I don't think that that title should be given to that kind of situation. It, you know, it's all about growth. You know, when you get in relationships and you befriend somebody and it becomes intimate, uh, it, it's all about growth. It, it should never, never be... A, a, a title where it's the sugar mama. Now, I've, 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 I've messed with older women, and a lot of older women that's been in my life, they've always given me jewels to help me grow. And mm -hmm. It's never been a sugar mama mm -hmm. situation. And I know some women that mess with older guys. And when I see them now, you know, their lives are intact, you know, because you know, it's all about, you know, helping people to grow. So let's, let's try to uh, not beat up everybody, not beat up the, the, the men so much when you see them with, with older women, you know what I mean, or, 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 the, or the young women. We, we just got to look at uh, what they're getting out of the relationship. If, if they're getting some tools that will help them uh, further their life, you know, they, you can't get mad. You just got to, you know, pray for them and, and just hope that things work out. All right. You know what I mean? Thank so you so much, Adrian. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Right, you, too. you know, wow. tools and jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Tools and jewels. Tools and jewels. Sugar mamas, sugar papas. I'm sorry, Adrian. <laughs> Kevin, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, yeah. Kevin. You know, so yeah, I'm, I don't see myself beating up on males. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm hoping he's, you know, listening to the same radio show that we're listening to. Yes. You know, because I, I defend my uh, gender. You Absolutely. Know what I'm 100%. He's got you his know. flag flying. Yes, yeah. he does. But the young people, like I say, I mean, they need help. You know yes. what I'm saying? They need guidance. Like you said, they need guidance. That's the main thing. Right. I look at young people and I title them as, as like missiles. They got a lot of power. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of power. But they're, they're But they're misguided. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's hard for us to guide them sometimes mm -hmm. because uh, people our age to do, do the guiding stuff like that. A lot of us are off the mark. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's not our fault either. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you know, you got to do with basically 
you know, the, the America where we was born and raised. That was my point. But you, you know, know what? what? I agree with Adrian in the sense that you can't put a number, you can't put an age. Love is love. And like Angelo says so many times, you can't help who you love. You know what I mean? Okay. The heart wants what the heart wants, right? And quoting Angelo. Okay. You know, so sometimes that, is, you know, it doesn't, I mean, age doesn't wouldn't matter to me anyway. Mm -mm. You know what okay. I mean? And to a lot of people, it's, it's what Unless the they were a connection. Teenager. Well, yeah, at least. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I don't feel like going to jail today. Right. Right. But, you know, no, but other, that. yeah, but other than that, you know, you if the, you're attracted to that person and the two of you connect and it's right, if age really shouldn't matter. But what mainly what we're talking about are people who actually um, go into relationships with people wanting jewels. It's like, what can right. I get out of this relationship? Right. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I want a piece of that six figures. I mean, that's what there's, a sugar mom and a sugar papa is. I mean, there's a sugar dating mama site. is not somebody just, just marrying a yeah. uh, younger person right. and expect to live with them for the rest of their life and they make it. That's not what a sugar that's mama not what it is. is. That's exactly. not the definition of it. So we right. stick to the definition of sugar mama and sugar papas. They have a they go into a relationship with the alternative purpose. Yes. It's got to do with money. Jewels. You take, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Buy me this and bling things. Not and, tools. And, or, it, it, or you won't see me. I, we all won't be me. You know what I mean? That's right. That's, That's right. the yeah. definition of it. So when I did my that. research, there is a website like eHarmony, but it's called Sugar Daddies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are four plus million people looking for that and seeking for that type of arrangement right. doesn't have anything to do with love. It right. just has everything right. to do with activities right. we right. like right. to do. See, mm -hmm. that's what I was and they're very honest. They're very open about it. It's consensual. It's arrangement. Right. Yes. Right. Some may last longer than others, mm -hmm. uh, but some may be just short term. But this is the right. lifestyle that is chosen uh, because it benefits both parties. Absolutely. Right. That's why I was sticking to the topic. The, you know, the sugar mama, that's it. That they're going in for a reason. Yes. But this, and that's this, it. I, this is my problem. Mm -hmm. I, I was talking with a group of girls, I girl talk, um, and we were talking about sex language, right? And so the men that say, who's your daddy? Mm. Uh, I have a problem with. Really? Yeah, I have but a problem sometimes with. they ask you, I'm you in daddy? trouble. Who is they your ask, daddy? They ask you sometimes, you my daddy. You my daddy, you yes. my daddy, you oh. my daddy. But no, all, all jokes aside, I think for... I wasn't joking, I was serious. <laughs> <laughs> for the older person and for the younger person. I think for the older person, it's getting back into that fun mode, that, that fun spirit. For that young person, I think it's getting something out of it you know what i'm saying you know mm -hmm. like you said jewels or monetary yes. so i think if it works for the both of them why not absolutely they're happy <laughs> why do we not that <laughs> stop to lisa stop you know you're supposed, you know, you supposed to be leading the she conversation and she's she like she she laughing i honestly i honestly think that that is the thing that binds this older older person younger person thing yes. is that those two things. And you know, you notice some people have old spirits, because my youngest mm -hmm. daughter, she has an old spirit. So she's much more mature than her right. years. So men her age do not appeal to her. Right. You know, she's more attracted probably to older people right. as opposed to people who are her age. Right. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Lisa, you have yourself together now? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> that often happens yes. <laughs> with um, um, uh, girls and, and young boys going through puberty. Right. That girls mature quicker than boys, and so they're seeking something besides the boys that are just, they consider silly. Yes. Until right. they come into their own, and so they're looking for... Um, plus size, right. not downsizing. They're right. looking for plus sizes um, to fill that void that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a term called adolescent adults, which means there is a part of the development that that individuals did not go through right. and did not emerge into adults. They skipped some steps. And so you mm -hmm. have these Believe very goodness. immature right. adults uh, who miss some steps yes. and, and they're still acting adolescent. Yes. Right. And, and, and not only does that connect with self-esteem, but it also goes into neediness. Yes. Right. And where does that come from? Neediness. Something right. you didn't get in childhood. Yes. Something you right. didn't get from mommy. Something yes. you didn't get from daddy. You're listening to Shop Talk with Cassandra Renee. If you'd like to join in on the conversation, we have like maybe nine minutes left. The numbers are 410-481-1010 or 1-877-704-1010.
working. Yeah, so because of like your older person in your relationship, I mean, they was gonna, they were gonna take on the responsibility of being the sugar mama, you know, or being the sugar papa. You know, it would be cool if they could think about, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this ring and this car, and I want you to drive it to college. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I want you to drive it to a uh, uh, trade school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look out for the young person yes. and try to make them a better person so so when that time come, you know, because as a sugar mom and a sugar papa, you know that they going to come when it's going to be. Yes. Because, you know, technically from looking at the sugar mom and papa, they may be married to somebody else. Right. Ooh. Do you understand know what I'm saying? True. And it, it could be the sugar mama could be a married, could be married, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Or the sugar papa could be married. Yeah. So just in, that, situ- in that situation, uh-huh. then you would expect it not to be a uh, eternal right, long partnership, term. a partnership. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in situations like that, I mean, I just think that, you know, if it's going on, mm-hmm. you know, let's not destroy the younger <laughs> generation. Let's yes, not build them up. Them. Let's build them up. You know what I'm saying? You know, but the sugar mamas, I know, you know, because given the line of work that I'm in, I, I do have conversations with sugar mamas, and that's what they're doing. They're trying to encourage these men to go back to college, to apply for um, uh, positions that will kind of elevate them economically. Um, and they are kind of filling in for the things that the young men didn't get from their moms. Right. Is mm-hmm. this like Stella got her groove back? Something like that. Two point up. My, my criteria, criteria for a sugar mama would be you have to take care of me, and <laughs> feed me, and love me, and hug me. And, so if you're out there, oh. sugar mama. I'm right here, Angela. I'm right here. This is turned into. <laughs> oh, I love you. So feed me, night. love me, hug me. But what you're asking for isn't much. It's not. It isn't much. I ain't asking for much. I guess, you know, we don't even have to. Why should we even have to ask for this right. from anybody? Why right. should you have to ask? Right. You know, if you're in a relationship with someone and you care for this person, these things should come naturally. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, how do you hold that over somebody's head and say, I will do this if you give me sex? Mm. Ooh, that, that's see, mm, Lord Jesus. Fix it, fix it, <laughs> he said, fix it, Jesus, fix it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that. The really, people, are, I mean, that's psychological abuse. Yeah, you, you can't know, do that. You can't sexual expect abuse that. Yeah. To yeah. hold that over them. I think that should happen naturally within the process of your being. You know what I mean? Just like if I do this for you, you gotta give me that. Or you gonna do this, or you gonna do that? No, don't, don't do that. But see, that's what happens when you don't discuss the per, arrangement, right, the arrangement in the beginning. Right, in the beginning. Right. But you know, because assumptions. But you know, sometimes right. it changes. That's the right. thing. You know, you can have this you airtight agreement right. in the beginning, yeah. and then an element of it changes. Then what? Right, there you go. Right, yeah, somewhere you go over the night, shit. you started having feelings. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh, and that's feelings. The worst. That's feelings, the worst. yeah. Yeah, we got to go back in and renegotiate the contract. Feelings. Renegotiate yes. the contract. Yes. But you know, and that's tough because then you're you're renegotiating and, you're, and your heart is in it, but your right. head isn't as in it as it should be. Right. Hmm. That was sort of the, um, I guess, <laughs> the, the uh, storyline for pretty women woman yes oh, that was beautiful right I like that movie. you know you know just he just wanted company he yes. wanted sex and in return she got to stay in a luxury mm-hmm. um, apartment and get things it it, it, it was mutual mm-hmm. until feelings got in the way yes right. and what was the tyler perry movie when the girl strayed out on her husband and then she wound up getting HIV from the guy. She just kept going. Oh, yeah. That's Is that temptation? Temptation, temptation yeah. On the flip side, you got temptation. Mm-hmm. So you got to be careful. You have to be. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whether it's, you know, with a mama, a papa, or maybe even someone who is close to your age. You know, because I, I was having this conversation with someone recently. I mean, and this is kind of going off the path a little bit, but we kind of opened up the door. You know, it's very, very important to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, HIV, especially in Maryland, D.C. area, in this area, is sky high. And I'm sure Dr. Lisa can tell you a little bit more about yes. it than I can. You know, so it's very, very important for you to protect yourself every time, y'all. Especially among the elderly population. Yes. That is the that is the top population where we see uh, the diagnosis of HIV coming to light. Yes. Right. 
you mm-hmm. know and you think about it you're still sticking to the topic of the mamas mm-hmm. and the papas because you have the older people a lot of them are in senior citizen right. homes or senior citizen yeah. communities and they reach out to these younger women who may not always protect themselves right and then they get into relationships with them unfortunately mm-hmm. hiv mm-hmm. and what do they do when they run out of money H- they start having sexual relations with the mm-hmm. women in the senior community yes mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, let's bring Kevin in. Hi, Kevin. Welcome to the show. Hi. Yes, uh, I was listening to the, uh, the topic of the show today, and uh, I, I, was, I was raised with two other brothers, the three boys, no girls in the family. And I was always told that I seemed like I was the oldest brother. And, uh, and I was just thinking when y'all were saying that, you know, the men, maybe they didn't get something from uh, a mother or something like that. But it was uh, all three of us was raised the same way, but y'all topic conveys differently to each one of my brothers. My oldest brother, now he's the he's the sugar mama. Type. Every woman he has ever dealt with always wants to take care. Gets want him to work, stay home, take care of the children. Uh, my youngest brother, he's a typical male. He's a money, he's a top earner, a go getter, and all that. And I fell somewhere in between. Okay. And uh and. Uh, I was just thinking a lot of what y'all were saying is true. Yes. Because my friend, my, my, me and my brothers, we, we are a prime example. As, as, like I said, there's three of us, and my oldest brother never wanted to get out there. I, I always thought he was going to get out there and work and all and, and, and earn and take care of that and be the typical man that you're supposed to be. We were told, he got the same teachings that me and my little brother got. Yes. But somewhere along the line, he he just always gravitate towards these women that want to take care of him. Yes, because everybody's... Cars and mm-hmm. Everybody's and different. Have a fantasy mm-hmm. leave out and go get a job. Yes. Right. Well, thank- so, so is, that, is that stuff to say is that a weakness of mine? Because I always was told that I don't know if that is a problem at all. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank, yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you he, for he your just, call, Kevin. He just got accustomed to being taken care of. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what that. You know, but everybody's different. Because I remember with my, my daughter's same parents and everything. And I remember I used to dress the, my two daughters just alike. And my mom used to say, you should stop dressing them just alike. They going to think they the same person. I still hear that in my head mm-hmm. right, right now. <laughs> you know, and come to find out, my daughters couldn't be any more opposite. opposite mm-hmm. right. You know, so it just goes to show they can be in the same household. They could dress exactly the same, but they're different. Yes. And, and going to uh, back to uh, one thing that Kevin mentioned, Kevin the caller, women were naturally nurturers. Mm-hmm. So it's easy for us to become in, in a relationship with a man where we take care of him, we baby him, whatever his needs are, we can do seamlessly because right. by nature we are nurturers. You know? Yes, men can be nurturers too. Okay, yeah. tell me about that. Be- because growing up in the household where I had a stepfather who was a replacement, I took on a nurturing role for everybody else. Mm. So I'm the big brother. I'm always the best uncle, the best big brother, the best big cousin. Mm-hmm. Because I make sure everybody is taken care of. Yeah. I could potentially be the best sugar daddy ever. Oh, he is putting it out there. Yeah. <laughs> I could be the best sugar daddy ever. Oh, my goodness. You know, women because are going to be like nurturing, tearing up our lives. <laughs> my nurturing sense is sky high. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 100. You know, yeah. My <laughs> father was a nurturer, but it was a oh. nurturing of a different type. Mm-hmm. See. Mm-hmm. And, and that's, I think that's what it is. We we make it black and white. Yes. Right. And we just see women as nurturers, men as providers. Yes. But my father had a nurturing side. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I, it didn't take away his masculinity. Nope. Mm-hmm. And it didn't affect his gender. Right. Yes. And so I don't know this mindset that men can't be nurturers, that right. they have to be just this one-sided provider and let the women do the emotional work. I, right. But yeah, it goes back to what you were saying, yeah. though. Male, female, gender, yeah. gender role. Right. Let's bring right. Dixon in real quick. Hi, Dixon. Welcome to the Hi, show. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. Hi. Mm-hmm. Um, I, mean, I was with the guy. The men can be nurturers also. Mm-hmm. I mean, women are natural nurturers because from childhood as little girls they're taught to nurture from playing with dolls to kitchen sets 
doing the little hair salons. Right. Y'all taught us children to nurture and, and take care of and provide. Where the boys are told to go outside and play, go climb the tree. They're not, they're not taught that as a young age. Right. Whereas the <clears throat> women grew up doing that. You know, from yes. the beginning with the doll babies, doing the doll babies' hair and all that. Oh, so boy. Up, so Thank you, Dixon. Game, they're, they're, gonna... they're running us off air. Thank you all so right. much for your comment. Have a great day. Oh, boy. Interesting topic, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, co-host. As always, you did your thing. I am your host, Cassandra Renee, thanking you for tuning in today. And until next Monday at 10 a.m., bye-bye. Shop Talk with Cassandra Renee. The radio show where we talk about it all. Beauty, sports, current events, health, travel, music, and so much more. You can reach us at info at talkwithcassandra.com or www.talkwithcassandra.com.